the Sumatran orangutan. Hero, it's dinner time. Hi, everyone. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy Hero. Come on, Hero. It's time to eat. <coughs> That's strange. I left your food right here at this spot. Now it's gone. Lead the way, Hero. Let's find your dinner. You found it. Great. How did it end up here? Hey, someone touched the food. What's that noise? <gasps> it's a monkey, and it's so red and hairy. I don't think you should eat Hero's food, Monkey. That food is for dogs. You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, Red Monkey. Hi, Katie. Did you find more about this ape? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. There it is. It's an orangutan. An orangutan? What a strange name. Orangutan means person of the forest. There are two types of orangutans, and the one you found is a Sumatran orangutan. It comes from the island of Sumatra in western Indonesia. The orangutan you found looks young. He must be looking for his mother. The female orangutans stay with their children for up to seven years. Let's find his mother. I'm sure she'll know what to feed him. Come and join us. Okay, Leo. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. What is it, Hero? Hmm, I recognize that sound. It must be a tiger. A tiger? Hide behind this tree, everybody. Quick. That is a Sumatran tiger. It is one of Sumatran orangutan's main predators. Hello, Junior Rangers. I've called to warn you that a tiger has been spotted around the area. Ranger Rocky, we just saw the tiger, and now we're hiding behind a tree. Just keep calm and do not make a sound. If the tiger spots you, do not run. Stand upright and make loud noises. You cannot outrun a tiger. But you can try to look taller. But we're not tall at all. Oh no! It's coming closer. We have nowhere to hide. I have an idea. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. Katie, hold my hat. Great work, Leo. You did it. Thanks, Katie. Oh, that was close. Let's make sure we don't go in that direction. <coughs> we did it. We found his mother. Hooray! Yay! a young orangutan in our garden. We learned that young orangutans stay with their mothers until they are seven years old. So we went to the forest and brought him back to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. 
The Marvelous Spatule Tale. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Look, Hero. Dad lent me his Polaroid camera. Let me take a photo of you. Ready? One, two... Oh, what's that? A bee? No, it looks like a small bird. Look, it has two very long things attached to its tail. How interesting. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Smile, pretty bird. So what did you find out about the bird? Hi, Leo. This special bird is called a marvelous spatule tail. A marvelous what? A marvelous spatule tail. See the two things on its tail? Those are long feathers that end in discs or spatules. Only the male bird has those two long tails. Oh, I see. The marvelous spatule tail is a hummingbird. The buzzing sound you heard is the humming sound made by the fast movements of the wings. Normal birds flap their wings up and down, but hummingbirds turn their wings in circles. This allows them to hover in midair and fly left, right, up, down, backwards, and even upside down. Marvelous spatula tails are only found in the forest edges of northern Peru, a country in South America. Unfortunately, there aren't many of them left. That means we have to take this marvelous spatula tail home safely. Come and join us. Yeah, let's do that. See you downstairs. The spatula tail is not moving at all. Oh no, is it okay? Hmm, when hummingbirds can't find food, they go into a deep sleep. They do that to save energy. They use a lot of energy for flying, so they always need nectar from flowers. So the marvelous spatula tail is hungry, but there are no flowers with nectar in this place. Now the bird will starve to death. <laughs> Water? Thanks, Hero. But that won't be enough for the bird. It needs nectar, which has a lot of sugar in it. I think I have an idea. In some places, people put feeders in their garden and fill it with homemade nectar, so the hummingbirds always have food, even when there are no flowers around. We can use this bottle to make a feeder. Great idea, Katie. But how do you make nectar? Hello, Junior Rangers. The easiest way to make nectar is to dissolve some sugar in water. We have water, but where can we get sugar from? Here, have some of my sugar. Uh, thanks, Ranger Rocky. We can cut this bottle in half and use the bottom half to put the nectar in. Great idea, Katie. I'll take care of that. You got to be careful with scissors. There. I'll leave the rest to you, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Here is some sugar. Stir the water to dissolve the sugar. Here, Birdie, have some nectar. I hope it tastes good. It's working, Leo. It's drinking the nectar. Go get some nectar, marvelous spatula tail. Look, it's a female marvelous spatula tail. He is doing his dance again. We did it. We found the home of the marvelous spatula tail. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay!
found a marvelous spatula tail in our garden. We learned that the marvelous spatula tail is a very special hummingbird and that its wings move really fast. So we took it back home where there are a lot of flowers to feed from. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan Pangolin. Hiya! Take that! And that! Ha-ha! My loyal hound hero is here. Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And now, I'm also a knight. Hero, I need your help defeating this imaginary monster. Here, take that! And that! And that! Ah! He's getting away! After it! Whoa! Watch your step, Hero! What's that? Be on guard, Hero! It could be a dragon! You know what we should do? Let's make a photo and send it to my sister Katie! She is also a junior ranger! So, is it a dragon I found? Hey, Leo. <laughs> no, you didn't find a dragon. You found a young pangolin. A pangolin? Yes, there are different types of pangolins, but this one is a Malayan pangolin. But it looks just like a dragon. It even has armor, just like the one I'm wearing. Just like your armor, the scales on the pangolin protect it from danger. Pangolins are very shy creatures, so when they're frightened, they curl into a ball and hide. I must have frightened it when I took pictures of it. So, where do pangolins usually live? Pangolins live in Asia and Africa. The one you found comes from Southeast Asia. Adult pangolins like to live alone. But mother pangolins will stay and protect their children until they know how to protect themselves. Then our young pangolin must be lost. We must bring him back home to his mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. It looks like we're in the jungle. Let's see what we can find. Here's a hollow in a tree. And on this side is a large cave next to a few trees. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a hollow in a tree. And over there is a cave next to a few trees. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to head towards the hollow because Malayan pangolins live in trees. Let's go. <gasps> What's that? by curling into a ball and rolling away. Quickly, let's follow it. Oh no, a log is in our way. Uh, it won't move. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Come, Junior Rangers, let's go. Not you, Tiger. We did it! 
The pangolin found his mom. Yay! Hooray! Today, we found a young Malayan pangolin in our garden. We learned that pangolins live underground and in hollows in trees. So we went to the jungle and brought the young pangolin safely home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The yellow-eyed penguin. What's the matter, Hero? Did your name sign fall off? Oh, hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh, yeah, the name sign. Don't worry, Hero. I'm sure we can fix it. Hey, was that a penguin? I think it likes your doghouse, Hero. <laughs> Shh! I think you're scaring it, Hero. Hi, penguin. Don't worry about Hero. He won't bite. Oh, you have yellow eyes. This must be a very special penguin. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Don't be shy, penguin. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. This penguin is called a yellow-eyed penguin. It is one of the rarest penguins in the world. That means there aren't many of them left. Yellow-eyed penguins are only found in parts of New Zealand and some islands around it. Wow, so we're very lucky to meet one. What do they eat? Yellow-eyed penguins eat fish and squid, which they catch in the sea. However, their natural home is in the forest of New Zealand. So after a day out at sea, they return to their nests deep in the forests. Since yellow-eyed penguins are endangered, it's important that they have more babies. That's why this penguin should live in a place where there are other yellow-eyed penguins. Which means we should take it home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Look, Leo, there are two yellow-eyed penguins there They are making the loud calls Ranger Rocky told us about A yellow-eyed penguin is shouting too the people here call the yellow-eyed penguin hoi-ho, which means noise shouter. So they call them hoi-hos. Hey, what's that? Oh no, there are two tourists over there, and they are taking photos. The penguins are running away. They must have been frightened by the camera flashes. Leo, we have to stop them from coming too close to the penguins. <coughs> Hero, where are you going? There he is. Maybe we can use sticks to build a fence. A fence could stop the tourists from coming closer to the penguins. Hmm, no. That would take much too long. Yeah, you're right. I know. Do you have markers, Leo? Yes, I do. Here. Hero, I think we'll need one more stick. Great idea, Katie. Let me help you. There. That should do it. And there's Hero, just in time. Yes, it's working. Hooray! Look, there's another penguin. It must be our penguin's mate. We did it! 
We found the yellow-eyed penguin's home. Great job, everybody! Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow-eyed penguin in our garden. We learned that the yellow-eyed penguin is rare and endangered, and that they live in the forest. So we took it back to its home where it can be safe. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan tiger. Hero, where are you, Hero? <coughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, Hero. Let's see who's stronger. I challenge you to a game of tug of war. <coughs> you take this end of the rope, and I'll take this end. The first one to pull the flag past their line wins. Ready, Hero? And go! Not bad, Hero, but I'm not gonna lose. What? How? What are you? Are you some kind of cat? Those are some beautiful stripes on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, kitty. Hi, Katie. Did you find more information about the cub? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cub you found is a Malayan tiger. A Malayan tiger? Does that mean it comes from Malaysia? That's right. To be specific, Malayan tigers come from the forests of the Malayan Peninsula in Southeast Asia. But they can also be found in Southern Thailand. I see. So what do Malayan tigers eat? Like all tigers, Malayan tigers are meat eaters. They usually feed on deer, wild boar, and sun bears. But when there isn't enough food, Malayan tigers sometimes attack people and farm animals. Because of this, many tigers are illegally hunted by people. Tigers are also hunted for their body parts, like their skin. This illegal hunting is the reason why Malayan tigers are critically endangered. That means Malayan tigers are very in danger of disappearing forever. There are only about 250 Malayan tigers left in the wild. Oh no! We should protect Malayan tigers so they'll still be around in the future. You're right, Leo. But a tiger cub needs to be with its mother so it can learn how to hunt and get milk to grow. Only its mother can protect the tiger cub. Then let's bring the tiger cub back to its mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Here. Hmm. I don't think it's safe for us to look for the cub's mother in the tall grass. We won't be able to see her coming. What if we look for the cub's mother from up there? Good idea, Katie. Come on, everybody. Let's fly. Tiger cub! Oh, no! The tiger cub jumped into the tall grass. We have to find it. Where did the cub go? Leo, could the tiger cub be in there? Or maybe it's over there. The tiger cub might be in one of the grass patches. But we can't go into the grass to check. 
There might be predators in there. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll use this. Great idea, Leo. Let me try it. Tiger cub. I got you, little one. We did it. We found the tiger cub's mother. Great job, everyone. Hooray! <laughs>
I think it's a shrimp trawler. What's a shrimp trawler? A shrimp trawler is a fishing boat designed to catch shrimp. Unfortunately, other marine animals are sometimes caught in the nets by accident. These marine animals are called bycatch. We've got to save our friend from becoming bycatch. Katie and Hero, you stay here and watch the jeep, okay? Thanks, Katie and Hero. I could not have done it without you two. No problem, Leo. It was actually Hero's idea. <coughs> we did it! We found the young hammerhead sharks home. Great work, everyone. Yay! Hooray! a young scalloped hammerhead shark in our garden. We learned that scalloped hammerhead sharks come from the tropical waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. So we went to the ocean and brought the young shark back to its home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sumatran rhinoceros. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo, and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm gonna close my eyes and count to 10. You hide, and then I'll come and find you. You ready? One, two, three, eight, nine, 10. I'm coming to find you, Hero. Oh, Hero, where are you? Aha! Whoa, you're not, Hero. Hey, you're stuck in a trap. Who did that to you? Let me help you. Easy. I'm just trying to help you. If you struggle, the trap will hurt you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? It looks like it dragged itself all the way here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, Rhino. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the baby rhino. Bingo! This rhino is a Sumatran rhinoceros. A Sumatran rhinoceros? Yes, Sumatran rhinos come from the rainforests of Indonesia, specifically in Sumatra, Sabah, and Borneo. They used to be seen in parts of Malaysia as well. But not anymore? Some people believe that horns from rhinos are a miracle medicine, and people have been hunting them for a long time. Right now, there are possibly less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left alive. That trap from earlier was probably set by one of the hunters. Less than 80? Can't the zoos help protect them? Sadly, no. Only five rhinos have been born in zoos in the last 125 years. Rhinos need to be in the wild or they won't have babies. We've got to get this baby rhino back to his home and to his mother then. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Lots of fun and lots to learn. 
think she's really cute. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder. <gasps> run! She's still injured. She can't run. I'll distract the rhino. It's not working. I'll take care of this, Junior Rangers. Run! Looks like they've gone. Phew! That was close. We must have gotten too close to that rhino's home. Which way now? We got lost while running away from the rhino. To find the young rhino's mother, you have to look for a hot spring. Good luck! So it was her mother all along. She wasn't chasing us. She was trying to get her baby. We did it. We found the mother of the baby rhino. Yay! We found a baby rhino in our garden. And it was a Sumatran rhinoceros. We learned that there are very few rhinos left. If they continue to be hunted, they might disappear forever. So we went to the rainforest and brought the baby rhino back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Orca. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. Look at my digital voice recorder, Hero. I'm recording the chirping of birds. Do you hear that? That's the first sound I recorded. I think it comes from a sparrow. Let's try to record more birds. Listen, there's another bird. What a beautiful song it is singing. Do you hear that, Hero? I've never heard that sound before. What bird makes such a sound? Let's find out. What is it here? <gasps> Whoa! Hello, Junior Ranger. Ranger Rocky, what are you doing here? I rescued this orca, and I'm on my way to release it in the sea. Perhaps you Junior Rangers would like to join me. We would love to, Ranger Rocky. Let's surprise my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Let's take a photo of the orca and send it to her. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. It seems that orcas are also called killer whales. However, they are actually more closely related to dolphins than whales. People also call them wolves of the sea because orcas like to hunt in packs, just like wolves do. Orcas can be found in all oceans of the world. Orcas from different areas eat different types of food. Some hunt for fish, some prefer squid, and others eat seals or sharks. The orca that Ranger Rocky rescued comes from New Zealand. And orcas there mainly eat sharks and stingrays. The New Zealand orcas may become endangered because there are fewer than 200 of them left. Maybe that's why Ranger Rocky is taking the orca home. I'm really excited to join Ranger Rocky and take the orca back home. Come and join us. Yes, let's go. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Look, there's something on the beach. It's an orca. Oh, no. 
We have to act quickly, or it will die. I've informed the whale rescuers. They have equipment to lift beach whales and orcas back into the water. Do we just wait here for them? It might take too long for the rescuers to arrive. Do you have any spades? Yes, yes we, do. we do! Great! We'll dig a hole under each of the orcas' flippers so that they can hang freely. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. Is this deep enough, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's good, Leo. Now we need to fill these holes with seawater. Here, use these buckets. Okay, Ranger Rocky. Excellent, Junior Rangers. Now we have to place wet towels over the orca to keep it wet and cool. We'll make sure these towels are wet, Ranger Rocky. Now, we'll pour water on the towels to keep them wet. We just need to be careful not to get any water into the orca's blowhole, because the orca breathes through it. Yes, yes Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Ranger Rocky, the rescue team is here! Great! They will take care of this orca. Let's continue on our journey to find our orca's home. We did it! We found the orca a home! Great job, everybody! Ranger Rocky rescued an orca from captivity. We learned that orcas need to live freely in the ocean. So we joined Ranger Rocky and brought the orca back home. Good job, children! You did it! You are amazing wildlife rangers! The Yellow Crested Cockatoo! Hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to play musical statues? When the music plays, you dance. But when the music stops, you have to stop immediately. Okay! Remember, when I stop the music, you have to freeze. Well done, Hero. Now it's my turn. You control the music. Hey, what's this? I win. I win. Oh, it can talk. Did you hear that too? The bird said something. Maybe it's a parrot. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. <coughs> Hi Katie. So did you find anything? Hi Leo. The bird you found is indeed a parrot. And this one is called a yellow crusted cockatoo. It gets its name because of the yellow feathers or crown on its head. The cockatoo will raise those feathers on its head whenever it's surprised or when it tries to impress others. The yellow-crusted cockatoo originally comes from parts of Indonesia and East Timor. Nowadays, they live in a few more places. Some people have yellow-crusted cockatoos as pets, but their real homes are tropical forests and open woodlands. There, they eat things like seeds, fruits, and flowers. Unfortunately, there aren't many of these birds left. That's so sad. We should protect it by taking it back to its original home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs, Leo. For lots of fun and lots to learn One, two, off we go For lots of fun and lots to learn Let's leave the jeep It's easier to walk here Okay, Leo 
Okay, Leo. <laughs> hey, Cockatoo, where are you going? There are seeds and berries on the ground. I wonder who left them here. Look, it continues all the way. <gasps> Leo, it's a trap. Cockatoo, stop. <laughs> oh, no. Don't worry, Cockatoo. We'll get you out. Leo, it's a Komodo dragon. Hero, Komodo dragons are very dangerous. Their bites are venomous, so stay away from him. Leo, can you open it? The Komodo dragon is approaching. I can't. Open it, but I won't leave you, bird. Katie, hold on. That was close. Almost. There, you're free, bird. Free, bird. Free, bird. <laughs> Look, Katie. Cockatoo is dancing again. Bye bye, Cockatoo. Bye bye, bye, -bye Cockatoo. Bye bye, Cockatoo. We did it. We found a home for the yellow crested cockatoo. Good job, everybody. Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow crested cockatoo in our garden. We learned that yellow crested cockatoos can talk and that they like to dance and move. People like to keep them as pets, but cockatoos really belong in the wild. So we found a new home for the cockatoo. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sun Bear. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Where are you? What is it, Hero? It's a bee. Careful, Hero. Keep a safe distance. The bee is collecting nectar from the flowers. Let's find out why. The bees collect the nectar and return to the beehive to make honey. What was that? It's a small bear. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. This animal is a sun bear. It's also known as a honey bear because it loves to eat honey. So it was trying to steal honey from the beehive, but why is it called a sun bear? The name sun bear is because of the golden colored crescent shape on its chest. All sun bears have it. You can find sun bears in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia and other parts of Asia. So other than honey, what do sun bears eat? Sun bears eat both plants and small animals. They eat insects such as bees, termites, and ants, as well as small birds and lizards. They have big claws, which they use to rip open trees and termite nests. The sun bear you found is very young. Normally, sun bears stay with their mothers for three to four years. Well, I think we should help little sun bear find his mother back in the rainforest. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. 
What's the matter, guys? Why did you stop? It seems like they don't want to go into that direction. If we want to find the Sun Bear's mother, we have to continue. Let's go. Oh, what's that smell? Yuck, I smell it too. What is it, Hero? A flower? I think the smell is coming from this. This is a Rafflesia flower. They are one of the largest known flowers in the world. So why are there flies? The Rafflesia flower releases a bad smell to attract flies to spread its pollen. That's very interesting, Katie. But let's not stand too close to them. Quickly, let's go. The Sun Bear and Hero tried to warn us. Both of them have a very strong sense of smell. Ah, uh, it still smells horribly here. Oh no, so many Rafflesia flowers. <laughs> Let's follow them. Their noses can help us find a way out. We better stay here, little sun bear. It's up to you now. Uh. We did it! We found the sun bear's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! <laughs> a young sun bear in our garden. We learned that a sun bear is the smallest of all bears, but they can be very dangerous. The young sun bear needed his mother, so we went to the forest and returned him home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Asian elephant. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, do you want to help me plant an apple tree? Let's start by digging a hole. Great. Now let's place this apple seedling into the hole and cover the hole. We only need to give the seedling some water so it can grow well. Hey, did you see that, Hero? Let's check out what is hiding behind that tree. Whoa, it's an elephant. I think it's a baby elephant. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, young one. Hi, Katie. So did you find anything about the baby elephant? Hi, Leo. The elephant you found is an Asian elephant, the largest land animal in Asia. Though they are smaller than the African elephant, Asian elephants can grow up to three meters tall. Wow, that's so big! Elephants have long noses called trunks. They use their trunks like we use our hands. With their trunks, they can greet each other like a handshake and pick up objects as heavy as a tree. As heavy as a tree? Wow, elephant trunks sure are strong. Earlier, we saw the baby elephant grab some grass with its trunk. That's because they need to eat a lot of food. They eat all kinds of grasses, small plants, bushes, fruit, twigs, tree bark, and roots. Where do Asian elephants live? The Asian elephant can be found in lowland forests and grasslands of India, China, and Southeast Asia. Baby elephant must be hungry. We should bring it back to its mother. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Turn for a lot. 
of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. I see more elephant footprints up ahead. Let's follow it. Wait, Leo. We've been walking for a long time, and Hero and Baby Elephant seem thirsty. Hmm, you're right. Perhaps we should take a break. Wait, Elephant! Where are you going? <laughs> Smart Elephant, you found water! He's using his trunk as a shower! <laughs> what? <laughs> That's wet! <laughs> what is it, Hero? Oh dear, there are crocodiles! We'd better get away from here! What's the matter, baby elephant? Those crocodiles are getting closer. A mouse? Don't tell me you're afraid of a mouse. Leo, the crocodiles. Uh, Hero, could you? Okay, now let's go! Look! It must be the baby elephant's mother! We did it! We found the baby elephant's herd and mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! Today, we found a baby Asian elephant in our garden. We learned that the Asian elephant live in lowland forests and have wide padded feet. So we went to the lowland forest and brought baby elephant back home to his mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The pygmy hippo. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Is it hot for you? <coughs> hmm, it is quite warm today. Why don't you have a swim in the pond? <laughs> That's much better, right, Hero? Whoa! Is that a hippo? But I thought hippos were bigger. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little hippo. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the animal. Here we go. This animal is a pygmy hippo. A pygmy hippo? Yes, a pygmy hippopotamus. It's the smaller cousin of the common hippo. So that's why it doesn't look so big. Correct. The pygmy hippo is twice as small as the common hippo. The pygmy hippo you found is a young female, so she will still grow only a little bit. Where does the pygmy hippo come from? You can find pygmy hippos in the forests and swamps of West Africa. As you have noticed, they like to spend most of their time in the water to cool down. When they leave the water, they'll look for food. Pygmy hippos are herbivores. They eat plants and fruits. I think the pond in our garden is too small for a pygmy hippo. We should bring her back to her home. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs.
getting closer to the swamp. The ground is very muddy. Let's not walk too fast, so we won't slip. <laughs> what is it, Hero? You don't have to walk that slow. Come on, guys, let's go. Leo, the pygmy hippo is slowly sinking. She's stuck in quicksand. Don't get too close. Otherwise, you'll also get stuck in quicksand. When trapped in quicksand, it's best to keep calm and stop struggling. Oh, no! Keep calm? What can we do to keep her calm? Good idea, Hero. Maybe some leaves to will distract her. Here, Hippo, please. Please try to be calm. It's not working. We need to pull her out. But how can we do that? Do you think we can pull the pygmy hippo out with the jeep? Yes, it might work if we use the jeep. We'll also need this rope. Good thinking, Leo. The jeep is here. Okay, pygmy hippo. It's very important that you grab this rope. Catch! Good job, hippo. Now hold on tight. Katie, I think she understands what we're trying to do. It's your turn. Now, very slowly. It's working. The pygmy hippo is out. We did it! We found an empty spot in the swamp for the pygmy hippo! Hooray! Yay! We found a pygmy hippo in our garden! We learned that a pygmy hippo lives on both land and in the water. So we went to the forest and found her an empty spot in the swamp. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Sunda Slow Loris. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hey, what's that sound? Oh, it's a truck! The driver is in a hurry. <coughs> what is it, Hero? It's an animal. Don't be afraid. We won't hurt you. Oh, the cage is locked. I'm sorry, animal. I can't open it. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Over here. Did you find anything, Katie? Yes, I did, Leo. The animal you found is a Sunda Slow Loris. A Slow Loris will freeze and cover its face when it feels it's in danger. This position allows it to lick its elbows, which will give the Slow Loris a toxic bite. This bite is painful and can make you very sick. I can't believe the slow loris has a toxic bite. It looks so cute and cuddly. Many people think so too, which is why slow lorises are captured and sold as pets. Sadly, slow lorises do not live long when they are kept as pets. The slow loris is also endangered, which means it's in danger of disappearing forever. I see. So where does the Sunda slow loris come from? Sunda slow lorises live in rainforests in Southeast Asia. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day. During the night, they slowly climb around in trees looking for food like fruits, plants, insects, and even eggs. The truck you saw earlier could belong to an illegal pet trader, or maybe it was someone from Animal Protection taking the slow loris back to its home. Then we should do that too. This slow loris belongs in the wild. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Real. 
Let's go down and have a look. There it is. It seems like it's doing okay. Oh no, it's a Sunday. Uh. Careful, everybody. We can't make any sudden move. The slow Loris is moving too slowly. It'll never get away in time. Oh no, slow Loris! Hey, what just happened? The sun bear smelled the toxic saliva on the slow Loris's fur. So the sun bear knows that the slow Loris is not good to eat. Well, that was close. Now let's get you back to the jeep. We did it! We found a home for the Sunda Slow Loris. Great job, everyone! Hooray! Hooray! We found a Sunda Slow Loris in our garden. We learned that the Slow Lorises should not be kept as pets but that they belong in the wild. So we went to the rainforest to find the Sunda Slow Loris a home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Reef Manta Ray. Everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger, and this is my puppy Hero. <coughs> Look at my kite. It's flying like a big bird in the sky. Oops, the wind got my kite. Wait for me, Hero. You found my kite, Hero. Hey, it's a water tank. Look at that. There's an animal swimming in the tank. What a weird looking animal. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The animal you found is a manta ray. There are only two types of manta rays, and this one is a reef manta ray. The reef manta ray is the smallest of the two, but an adult reef manta ray can still reach a width of up to five meters. Whoa, that's really big. But the reef manta ray we found is much smaller than that. It's probably a baby reef manta ray, Leo. Newly born reef manta rays are just over a meter wide. Reef manta rays are found along the coasts in the warm tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. I see. So what do reef manta rays eat? Reef manta rays are filter feeders. They simply open their mouths while swimming and feed on small animals from the water, such as shrimp and krill. Reef manta rays are independent creatures. After birth, a baby reef manta ray, which is called a pup, receives no further care from its parents. That means the baby manta ray doesn't need to go back to its mother. But the tank in our garden is too small for it to live in. We should bring the reef manta ray back to the ocean. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Creatures floating on the sea. They are sea jellies. Sea jellies are marine animals that swim in the ocean. Turtles and large fish hunted for food. There are so many of them. Hey, what's that up ahead? It's Ranger Rocky. He's surrounded by a lot of sea jellies. 
That must be a sea jelly bloom. A sea jelly bloom is when a huge number of sea jellies appear suddenly. Ranger Rocky, are you okay? Hello, Leo. I am stuck in a sea jelly bloom. If I drive my jet ski, I might harm the sea jellies. So I have nowhere to go. Don't worry, Ranger Rocky. We'll help you. I have a plan. First, let's get a bit closer. Okay, Katie and Hero, I need to borrow both your backpacks. You want to use our propellers? Good plan, brother. Okay, here I go. Hello, Junior Ranger. Here, Ranger Rocky. You can use these to fly to our Jeep. Thank you, Leo. Hi, Ranger Rocky. Thank you, Junior Rangers. I'm glad I got out of that jello-like situation. You're welcome, Ranger Rocky. We did it! We found a safe home for the Reef Manta Ray. Hooray! Yay! a reef manta ray pup in our garden. We learned that the reef manta ray lives along the coasts of the Indian and Pacific Oceans and that they like to live alone around coral reefs. So we went to a coral reef and found the manta ray a new home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers.